folks, this is IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Great Bob, and he is in the bat chat. The 25TAP. Uh, this is, of course, the tier 9 bat chat. And, ooh, it's, it's, it's pretty. Uh, it's not quite as awesome as the tier 10. Not, and definitely not nowhere near as legendary. But that's okay. Um, also, he's platooned up with Anakin Dude Cool and the object. Um... <laughs> Two six three. Also, another tank that is not nearly as epic as the tier ten. Though when it was tier ten, the two six three was pretty epic. I uh, excuse my voice. My voice is still not up to hundred percent after being sick for so long. I know a lot of you guys missed my videos. I'm really sorry about that. I could, I had no voice. It, it wasn't gonna happen for a while, and um, it still might not happen. But we'll see. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say other things, but I don't know. Ooh, almost. Well, we could have got the first shot off into the Leopard. Unfortunately, it missed a little high, and the Leopard did not miss. I don't know where he put that show in, but obviously put one into us. Um, I wouldn't do that. Now letting Anakin poke it in the 263 is a little different. 263 can definitely take the frontal hits from those guys and not really care. It'll probably just shrug them off and return fire. Whereas we would definitely not shrug off the blows. That would be a much different conversation. One that would end in a dead bat chat. He's open the 26. What is he thinking? Well, he's thinking he's going to be tracked in the open, is what he's thinking. Oh, it's the T92 Wasis. But that is a dead E50. And that is how you hit takedown. An E50 from full health to dead. <laughs> For, I mean, to get hit once from the. I guess we got hit from the E50 and the T92. So, like, 400 damage. You know, 400 damage, I would trade for entire E50. <laughs> right? You got all that damage, all that spotting damage. I can't believe he did that. I don't know why he did that. But I'm actually pretty okay that he did, right? Anakin's actually losing his battle over there. Um, never mind. He's cool. <laughs> As a four... <laughs> As a 405 deleted with the M103 over there. Um, and Anakin is suddenly in a commanding position. T62A is in a bad spot, and we're just gonna go ahead and finish him off. Or, or, or the Patton's gonna finish him off, and we're just gonna look silly firing at a dead tank. Is actually what happens there. Now, Anakin has charged, but no, he gets, that's because he knows Bob is coming around the back. Unfortunately, we got smacked and wrecked by the T92. Uh, thankfully, though, this T62 is not paying attention. And we're actually gonna get a shell into the back of him. Not that it does any damage before he realizes, oh, there's an incredibly vulnerable tank back there. Um, and I should do something about that. 4-5 actually comes gliding in and and you know shotgun to the face. Unfortunately for the 405, it's probably just gonna get him killed. Because he doesn't look like he can get back out of this, that situation before the T62 dies. It would be different if, if Creep Pop had a full clip when he did that, but he definitely didn't. And wow, T92 to the rescue as he comes in and actually takes out Anakin, leaving the Patton all alone to deal with the T62. And the Bob's reloaded. We can re-engage into the fight and take this T62 out with ease. Um, this guy even, doesn't even get another shot in. Thankfully, the Patton survives. And uh, yeah, it's... We're gonna easily clamp the rest of this game. I mean, that's what that's what it looks like, right? Oh, that is a sign of a yeah, Excel. We'll take those shots all day long, every day. And there's no point in moving, cause really, right? Oh, for 46. You left him on 46 hit points. Why? How did you leave him on 46 hit points? <laughs> wow. Okay, well, that's that. I mean, there's no point in... I mean, I guess he's going to stay... 
Okay, well, apparently the moths just took out our uh, 1390 with extreme prejudice. And I think, wait, are those two going to hunt down the T54? But obviously not before the STRV cannot get there. This is not the way I want this game to go. Oh, I'm thinking the T30 is about to take out the STRV. No, the Moss takes out the STRV. Great, that Moss is on uh, Top Gun right now. And we just went from 11, you know, being in a commanding victory, you know, lead, to we're now in danger of losing this game. In the same, serious danger, really. There's, we only have two tanks left versus their two tanks. Yes, we have an artillery. It's Himmelsdorf, though. It's not like this is Malinovka. And the artillery can go wherever he wants and shoot wherever he wants. He really has only got a limited... Bob, if you roll this thing, I will never stop making fun of you. Okay, so... Not only do we have two very dangerous, very big enemy tanks running around here somewhere. We can't find them. This is some... This is some of the stuff. This is where they live. This is like their favorite place to be. And um, more than likely, the only way we're ever going to see these guys again is when we go drive around a corner and they're sitting there staring at us. And that's not where you want to be in a bad chat. Especially not with less than 400 health left. The STRV is moving up to the hill. Um, he knows that the hill is going to be a commanding victory. Or a, a, a commanding position. This is a 261 that was stuck on the other end of the map because he doesn't have the speed. Oh, 261 is going to sit there. Or STRV is going to sit there. That's an interesting place to sit. It is going to give him a, a great way to defend the base. It's also going to mean that he's not going to be able to get killed particularly easy from there, which is good. Um, Bob is making a second circuit of the map. And still not able to find the enemies. Yeah, I would bet that they're sitting in their cap circle waiting for somebody to be stupid enough to come up and approach them. And if I was them, I'd be sitting on the four line. Actually, a K4. No! They, they're in our base. They apparently decided they need to rush our base. And they are in our base right now. SGRV shot the T-30 once. Knocked him down a little bit, but he wasn't able to kill him. 261, no way he's got a shot. 261 is actually coming back, trying to set up a shot. There's no way. Oh no, he's just been told he needs to go cap. And I think that's what he's actually going to go do right now. However, we need to stop these guys from capping. Now, the STRV can do a lot, but he can't necessarily stop the entire thing by himself. So Bob's going to have to get up there. Nice reset, though, from the STRV. That was really key. Flanking. Oh, yeah. Oh, this will take. T-30 tracked. T-30 dead. Moss tracked. Moss tracked again. You should have shot for the turret. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. STRV can't do anything about him right now because he's around the corner of that building. Whereas the caps are literally one on top of the other. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, so we need to reset the moss one more time. Bob is loading the gold and he's going to go in for a cap reset. Excuse me for a second. Um, only way I can talk. Oh, Bob's not going to go in for a cap reset. He's going to go and help the cap. Okay, sorry about that. I had to make a jump cut there. But, okay. He's actually going to go cap out. I think I would have gone for the reset, but... This is clearly a smart move. Uh, 261 takes the, you know, why not Hail Mary shot? They're going to win anyway. Bob is firing, just, you know, 
If he gets resets, he gets resets, right? But this is the game winning. Good decision. Well done, sir. That was a great game. Well done. Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Fire Effect. Strangely, it doesn't get any medals, so. I guess we didn't defend the cap long enough. We didn't cap enough. We didn't kill enough. We didn't do it. Like, I mean, somehow you managed to land in the middle of everything. And unfortunately, he didn't do enough damage to get a high caliber. But uh, he did stop this guy from winning the game. I mean, when you're on 5,000 damage, top gun, so many medals, high caliber, you know, steel wall, all this stuff. And a bat chat was the difference there. Also, well placed to the STRV props. Well done. And actually, the, um, the artillery deserves props too. These guys work together and they communicate and they played a great game at the end. Without some pe teamwork at the end, that would have been a loss. But it wasn't. Well done, guys. Thank you so much for saying this. And great, Bob. I can't wait to see more games from you guys. Sorry about the wheezing if you guys can hear it. It's just how I can breathe right now. And I'll see you next time this IOE throughout.